You know, a lot of people tell me, Cardi, you look perfect if you get your teeth done. And you know, a lot of doctors have offered to do that for me for free. And you know, I thought about it and whatnot, but then I get reminded how much I like to eat apples and dick. Up, my gangsters. <laughs> Here it is, Thursday morning. Thursday morning. I dropped off the Liffy. Same routine, same routine. Except that uh, uh, I was, <laughs> was going to imitate this guy, Joey. He does uh, food reviews. I'm back. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Joe, right? I got a new friend out there, Joe. I, I don't know his... Um, his handle on his channel, but he's a food review. He does food review. I'll put it down in the link down here, Joe. And, uh, Joe, uh, Joe M, what is it? J M something or other. I'll put it down. All right. Anyway, good morning, guys. Uh, wonderful top of the morning to y'all. I love you guys. Love you guys. Guess what? Guess what happened to me? And nothing. Uh, no, actually, something good happened. Um, I decided, I made a, um, decision to go back to work. I'm tired of being retired. Yeah, 65, I can only make a certain amount of money, but next year, 66, I can make all the money I want, and it doesn't affect, that's the good part, it doesn't affect anything that I have as far as, um, you know, benefits, you know? This year, I can't go over 15720 which I'm not, because I'm almost the middle of the year. You know, it's uh, three, quarters of, uh, three quarters of the year left, so I'm not going to go over that. But next year, I can make what I want. And it's only part-time, you know. Weekends, weekends. You know, so um, that's good because, uh, and I got a title. I'm a PFC, it's a Patient Facilities Coordinator. What a title, huh? Check that out. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> I'll be doing that and uh, making some money. And uh, because I got, you know, I, I, I got a lot of bills. My wife and I got a lot of bills. And, and we got to pay them off before we move to Florida. You know, plus I got to save some money to move to Florida. You know, we have some money saved, but, you know, it's not enough. And I mean, you know, I got to put money down on a, on a place and. I don't know if I really want to rent, or maybe, uh, yeah, I was thinking, if I, I don't want to rent an apartment, I don't want to get a condo, condo, I mean, condo's nice, you know, 55 and over type of thing, but then I'm stuck there, and if nobody buys it, I'm fucked, you know, and, and it's not like having your own place, you got, you got to, uh, go according to what the, you know, these condo people do, you know what I'm saying? got to buy it by their rules, but if I buy a place, and townhouses, they're out of the question, um, but if I buy a place, I could put a pool, I could do what the fuck I want, I could scream, yell, walk around naked in my, or fence it all off, and nobody could say shit to me, you know what I'm saying, I can barbecue, I can, you know, these, these other places have rules and regulations, man. You know, how you can decorate. You know, my wife, she's a decorator. She likes to decorate. I'm thinking maybe a little home, you know. Uh, they're pretty cheap in Florida, especially Clearwater. I'm going to Clearwater. Clearwater, I'm coming. <laughs> a couple hundred thousand, maybe less than that. Who knows? And my sister, I think my sister bought a house. It's like 120,000. I, I, I'm not sure how much it was. It's around there. You know, I think the one next door was 120000 that had a pool. So, I'm looking for something like that. If you know any place in clear water, let me know. You know, uh, first time home buyer. Maybe uh, if the landlord, the owner, refinances, it's even better. 
Yeah, I got, I got my thing going. I got my thing going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let me see. Uh, I'm just going to chit chow and shave today and head to the store. And we'll take it from there. Oh, my parking in the front. That's where I'm going. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right? Ciao. Hey, I'm waiting for the bus. It should be here any minute. Uh, you know me. I don't like the trains. I, I, with all that slashing and all that stuff going on in New York City, forget about it. You bump into somebody, you get slashed in your face. I, I ain't going for that. So, um, I'm on Stanway Street, I did a little window shopping. Uh, I went to a spot, uh, Dwayne Reed, Reed, and their prices are in incredibly high. I'm not gonna spend, give them my money when I know I can get things uh, cheaper in another drugstore that I normally go to. So, it's a ripoff, man. You know, they got to pay high high rent. So they got to pass it over to the consumer somehow. So there you go. That's what I'm doing. And there should be a bus in eight minutes. All right. See you later. Well, Mike, does Fred still give you the big O? You must be kidding, Betty. That's exactly what I thought. That's why I'm giving you this. I have the brand new Pterodactyl Vibrator 2000. Just try it out for a few days and let me know what you think. Hey, I know what you're thinking. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta know. Hey, Fred, have you ever thought about doing any wipes? Are you? you a mind reader or something? How are we gonna pull this off, Freddy? Don't worry, Bonnie. Leave it all up to me. I got a plan. Here's my birthday wish list, Wilma. Oral sex or group sex? I'm not doing either of those things. You fucking bitch, you promise. Please, it's my birthday. All right, one BJ. Yeah, but I'm getting me a hummus. <laughs> Barney, you numbskull. <laughs> Sorry, Fred and Wilma. Nice going, douchebag. I just wanted to see if Wilma's up for the idea, Fred. <laughs> Don't worry, she will. <laughs> <laughs> These roofy cocktails are gonna do the trick, Bond. Trust me. Ooh, Fred, you must tell me the recipe of this dream. Just the sloppy seconds, right, Fred? You're not trying to take advantage of us, are you, Fred? Uh, uh, uh. Get ready for the fuck fest, Bonnie. Fuck you, Fred. My birthday, Wilma, and I say we're gonna have a fuck fest. Get out of here, Betty. Fred's crazy and he's gonna try to fucking go. Fred Flintstone, you are an asshole. Just let him go, Bond. We'll have our own little party, do you know what I mean? If I didn't know you any better, Fred, I'd say you were coming on to me. Move your hand a little lower. Only if you carry me. You can't, you're too heavy. You can't back down now, Bond, you promise. I guess I'm a little bit more nervous than I thought. I know what you mean, what happens if somebody is spying on us? Hey, Freddy, how about a nice BJ? Aren't you still afraid we might get caught? Don't be a wuss, Fred. Besides, I'll put down the shade. Let me just get comfortable here, and, uh... Ooh, ooh. Well, I must say, Bon, you do know your way around a man's penis. Oh. Why, you lion sack of shit. What are you talking about, Fred? You got yours. You said you did swallow. We can't get comfortable. Oh, I'm not used to a double bed. Oh, shut up and go to sleep, homo. Smoking's no good for you. <laughs> hey, here I am on Steinway Street. It's one of the busiest uh, commercial streets in Queens. Yeah, it's considered a story of Queens. Yeah, so I had to pick up a FedEx package. Yeah, it's full of drugs. <laughs> no, I'm only playing. 
Uh, it's full of money. No money playing. It's uh, none of your business. <laughs> it's just a FedEx package. Yeah, so here I am. I'll give you a glimpse. I'll turn. I'll pan. There you go. Hey, you know what? I, I was uh, checking out. Uh, yeah, I was counting people, right? So I, est I estimated that one out of every 16 people is a retard. <laughs> like me. So anyway, that's my glimpse. Yeah, and uh, oh man, they got beautiful women. I could stay here all day. <laughs> that's my cup of tea. So there you go. And just touch a base. Remember. I'll check you out later. Thomas Leroy. I'm waiting for the other bus. <laughs> I'm in my neighborhood. I'm right by the Chihuahua bar. <laughs> Mexican eatery joint, but it's all good. You know, everybody's entitled to uh, sell their wares, you know. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm on my way home, man. I got to walk the dog, feed him. You know, and make a little dinner for myself. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. With the I'm Joe from the two old guys. Show. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you later. Hey guys, what's up? Yes, I'm sitting here in my office enjoying myself, watching the videos. You know, because you know, I, when I'm home, I like to support my fellow YouTubers, you know, uh, I watch their videos, yeah, I got the camera up there, <laughs> so I like to enjoy uh, my fellow YouTubers and listen to what they have to say, you know, like uh, Paul, Paul W. and Carl Burke and, and Bob, uh, Rob Bell, you know, out in England, hey Bob, and uh, so, you know, I, I like I like to uh, look at the the vlogs, and um, so I was listening to Paul this morning, and he happens to um, talk about, you know, about making it on YouTube and giving advice and stuff. And I agree with him. It's not all not all of us are going to make it. Not all of us are going to have a lot of uh, subs. Uh, you got to do it because you like to. You know, it's, it's your channel. You do what you want. You know, if nobody likes it, well, that's their business. If you like it, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? It's your channel. You run it the way you want to. You know, um, it's not a it's a numbers game. You know, I, I mean, not everybody's gonna like you. You know, if you make money on it, more power to you. If you don't, hey, that's the way it is. That's the way. But you know what? Yeah, just enjoy having fun. Just do it for fun. You know, you make friends, you know, you can make some friends, and uh, and it's not all about the money. You can leave a legacy. You have a video library of yourself, so when you're not here anymore, your family can enjoy you going back and watching your videos, you know what I'm saying? Because that happens, you know. God forbid I die tomorrow. You know, at least I have over 200 and something videos. I, you know. My family could go watch them and see how zany and crazy I was. Or, you know, I talk about a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? The good stuff, bad stuff. Yeah, man, sometimes I'm raunchy, sometimes I curse, you know, whatever. But that's that's me. I'm a New York boy, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the streets, <laughs> you know, and, um, I, uh, and so, like I'm saying, you know, just do it for the love of it. Just do it for fun, and if yeah, you know, the, it'll take time. There's some people. Listen, there's people that have been on here seven years, and and then they started picking up. Some people pick up after two years, three years. It takes time. It's not an overnight thing. It's not an overnight sensation. And like uh, Paul W says, uh, Paul says, uh, <clears throat> it's is you might as well work in a sweatshop. 
because of the time and energy you got to put in because you have to come up with vlogs you have to talk to people you know you have to talk to the your youtubers and uh, then you have to edit the stuff you know what i'm saying so it's not all enjoyment uh, but uh it's something to do especially you know when you get to our ages you know like me i'm 65 you know how much how much you know and i i'm had i have a problem knee problem now so how much can I really do out there? I can't bounce around like all these other young kids and do crazy shit. And I don't travel. I hate to travel. I hate to drive. You see, you see the way I curse and stuff when I'm driving. I, you know, I just I'm a homebody person, laid back, and you know, I just like to hang out and that's it. Enjoy my family, you know. And uh, like I said, I'm going back to work because I'm bored. I can't do this no more sitting at home, you know. I'm tired of being at home sitting there and just um, wasting away. I gotta feel like I'm I'm doing something. I'm constructive, you know. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go back to work. I would have volunteered, but I was gonna volunteer until this came up and they offered me money. So I said, hey, you know, and I said I'll take the money, you know. Um, so. That's basically it. So anyway, listen. Um, it's a short vlog. It's a short vlog. I'm not gonna talk too much. I got my friend here, man. He's gonna tattoo a friend of mine. He's some, maybe one day I'll. Um, you know, I, I know if you look back at my videos, you'll see uh, some tattooing done. Uh, Manny's very good. He's an experienced tattooer. If anybody wants a tattoo here in New York City, let me know. Okay. <laughs> I don't have tattoos. I'm a tattoo here, um, like uh, like this guy Manson, uh, cross upside down on my head over here. <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm so excited about going back to work. You know, two more weeks I'll be at the middle of April. I'll be at work weekends. No, oh, then I can vlog a little better. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. <laughs> um, before I leave, I'd like you to listen to this girl. This girl, I mean, she, she has something to say. Hold on. Hey, y'all. I'm Cardi B, and I'm here to tell you that if you're on your period, let your man fuck you in your ass. <laughs> hey. She's crazy, man. She's crazy. <laughs> but I love her. I don't know who she is. I just throw up there, you know. So anyway, listen, I gotta go. I gotta go anyway from Joe and I. Ciao for now.